Hi, Mark Gilbert here. And in this video, I am reminded of the song we all know. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. I say that because uh, I start with a dream that I had a few nights ago. It was an interesting dream, and I woke up from it uh, with some uh, interesting revelations, which led to this video. In the dream, I was back working for the government, as I had for many years. And for many years in that position, I was in leadership roles where people looked to you for making the decisions and ensuring stuff got done and, and so forth. And you were, quote, unquote, in charge. But anyway, in the dream, I was back working for the government, and I was charged with getting the group to work through a cleanup, as many offices often do, where they pitch out stuff they no longer need, make changes to the workplace, clean things up, and so forth. But in the dream, I am trying to get people to cooperate, and they're ignoring me. I am trying to corral them into working as a team to do the cleanup. People are talking. They're not listening to me. There's a sense of uh, uh, just no control going on. Finally, at some point in the dream, I do get enough people listening to me that we break the cleanup assignments into four or five categories, and we had them up on a board for people to read. So then I was trying to get people to self-select into which of the tasks they would like to do. And again, people were not listening. There was like uh, I would be talking and, and doing everything I could to get their attention, and they were, uh, were not paying attention. And so uh, uh, more and more frustration was coming up. But then in the middle of the dream, all of a sudden I'm in this indoor amphitheater where it's not steps, but it's carpeting sliding down to the stage. And I'm at the top thinking I need to get down to the bottom. And as I'm moving down the bottom, I'm sliding straight down and picking up speed and whacking into the wall. And as soon as I whack into the wall, I'm back up at the top of the hill again. And I'm going down and sliding and whacking into the wall. And then I discover that if I sort of go sideways like you're skiing and, cr and crisscrossing across the mountain when you're skiing, uh, that I'm able to gently come in to land at the area uh, at the bottom without whacking into the wall. So that's intermixed in the middle of the dream. But eventually I'm back trying to get people corralled into cleaning and it's just not working. And finally I wake up and I wake up out with this sense of frustration that I was supposed to be moving things, controlling things, getting things cleaned up and I couldn't get uh, everything to work. Um, even at one point in the dream, I, I thought I had everybody working and, and uh, going in the same direction, and all of a sudden they disappeared, and a co-worker had started serving a meal and having some sort of communion ceremony, and, uh, and I'm wondering, what's going on? I didn't want to interrupt what she was doing, but at the same time, all the people that I thought were supposed to be supporting what I was doing were off with her. Uh, very frustrating experience, very frustrating. But anyway, when I woke up the next uh, morning and I thought about the dream, you know, one of the obvious uh, means to this is that it's about control, uh, that we often have a sense that we want to um, push things in the direction that we want. Like I wanted to immediately go down the, the uh, amphitheater and sliding, but I'm hitting the wall. I'm, I'm hitting the wall uh, figuratively when I'm trying to get people to do things. Yet all that led to was a sense of frustration within the dream and a sense of relief when I came out of the dream that, that I was no longer trying to push the river, so to speak, with all of these people. In fact, that, that term, push the river, came up for me. It's one that I know that I've heard a number of spiritual teachers use. Myself, I've used it as well, uh, where we're trying to go against the flow. You know, life can be a flow, kind of like in the children's song. We merrily, merrily, merrily can go along with the flow just rowing our boat, but uh, if we try to push the river, uh, then things become much more complicated, they become much more stressful for us. And so the question then becomes, where in my life, and, the, and I'm going to throw the question out to you as well, where in our lives are we pushing the river? Where is it that we're trying to exert control over events? Uh, things going on in our life, other people, where are we trying to control things where it feels like we're
pushing against the flow, where we're swimming upstream, where uh, pushing the river, so to speak. Where in your life are you doing that? You know, I reflected upon it for myself, and one of the things that came up with me uh, is that my wife Mary and I have a slight different approach to uh, stuff, the stuff that we accumulated into our lives. It's, there's no right or wrong here. It's just simply different approaches. I'm someone who likes to, uh, I'd be a neat Nick, I guess, is one way of describing it. I like things in their place. I don't like a lot of clutter. I like to clean out things and, and get rid of things uh, that are no longer serving me and energetically might be holding me back. And so I periodically am uh, pitching things and taking them to goodwill and so forth. Uh, whereas Mary likes having stuff. She likes maintaining uh, things in her life. And sometimes uh, her maintenance of the things that support her that she wants uh, for her own support and, and, and living are things that I look at as clutter. And so we occasionally, I'm pushing the river and trying to get her to clean up things or get rid of things that maybe she doesn't want to get rid of. It made me think back to when I was um, younger and raising my five teenagers, and they all uh, were very messy too. Uh, they like to tell the story about something called the box. And the box was a process that I instituted to try to deal with the stress I was feeling when I would come home from work and the house would be this total mess. Uh, my wife and I liked to uh, have our kids at home rather than going off other places. And so we often had them there after school in the afternoons and their friends. And so our, our place was the hangout place. But as they came in, everybody would drop their clothes, drop their school books, drop their stuff, and it would be all over. And it's, it's no exaggeration to say that I would come in the door and have to step over things just to get to the closet to hang my own coat up. And after a period of frustration, what I finally did was to create a box. Uh, what I did was I took a large box and I put it right outside into the garage uh, where you just open the door from the family room and could pitch stuff in it. And so when I got home and where things were all over the floor that were frustrating me, I would simply just calmly walk around, pick them up and throw them into this box. And then uh, uh, <laughs> when people didn't know where their school books were or where their uh, coats were, and they would ask me about it, I would say, go look in the box. And it became sort of a running joke, and even to this day, they like joking about the fact of uh, Dad and his box. However, it's kind of funny, I've, this story's been told to a number of people, and I've heard people who have instituted the box in their own house. But the, um, but the point of the box was to try to allow me to have the right degree of control without just getting off, you know, flying off the handle about the mess in the house. But there was this sense that I was pushing the river and trying to control and keep things neat. Just as I'm pushing the river to a degree and trying to get Mary to sort through things that she wants to keep to say, what do you want to get rid of? So that's where I know that there's some learning for me in this and maybe the dream has rec uh, 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 meaning for me. But as I share it in this video, one of the things I would ask you to consider is where are you pushing the river? Where in your life are you called to go with the flow, but you feel like you're forcing things to go upstream. Love to hear what your thoughts are on that. Thanks, and until next time. Hey, one more quick thing. I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel. The link is down there on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Also, there's a related video you might want to watch. It's right next to my face. And if you like this video, be sure to click like and leave me a comment on YouTube. Thanks.